Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and this is a 73-year-old male with complaints of lateral pain. The physician is worried about a perineal tendon tear, and indeed they do have some injury of their perineus longus tendon. So this is a quick little video to show you the perineus longus and brevis tendons. I'm going to start with the sagittal view. So the sagittal view um, has the ankle in the back here. The calcaneus is down here, the heel. And this is the midfoot area. Here's the forefoot area to get oriented. Here's the top dorsal part of the foot. Here's the plantar aspect. You see this thick band, the plantar fascia back here, or down here rather. There's a big spur from the bottom, a calcaneal spur. We're now we're going to go off to the lateral side where we see this little bone, the fibula. And behind the fibula, we're going to see two things, the perineus brevis up front, the perineus longus in back. And the perineus brevis is, has fluid around it. This white stuff is fluid. So there's fluid in about the tendon sheath. It's in tenus synovitis, or if there's an injury, it can be related to that, that this is abnormal. Both of the tendons are intact, but again, that fluid is abnormal. And as they go around the back of the fibula here, we see the perineus brevis. It's a little foggy, a little thicker than we'd like. And then we're going to follow it down here. It's going to attach at the base of the fifth metatarsal here. It looks like it's not torn, but may have some, it does have some mild tendinopathy and some fluid in the tendon sheath. Tendon synovitis. Now the perineus longus tendon comes down around here. It looks pretty good in the, we call this the supramalleolar portion above the ankle joint. And then here in the juxtamalleolar portion, right adjacent to the joint, it looks pretty dark, black, and good. And now here's the inframalleolar portion that's going to come down along the lateral side. And in here it looks a little funny, a little thicker here, a little thinner here, a little bit thicker here, so not quite normal. And we're going to follow it across. It's going to wrap underneath the foot and almost go sideways across the bottom of the foot. And it's going to attach way on the opposite side on the first metatarsal base. So here's the fifth. It's going to work its way all the way over to the first metatarsal base. So here it is looking abnormal. Again, it looks a little funny here. And on this one, clearly abnormal. We see white fluid within part of the tendon. And there's a little other band over here that turns out this is a marrow on another view. So this is a little ossification in here. This little white band is part of a partial tear. And we're going to try to follow this. Here's part of it. You see this little thin band. This is part of the tendon. There's fluid in this partially torn tendon. Here it is there. And we're going to follow it almost horizontally now. Looks abnormal here. This is in the plantar foot. Looks abnormal here, just partially torn. And there it is. We're going to follow it across to the attachment here at the base of the first. So it looks like it is not ruptured, but definitely partially torn. Kind of funny looking, irregular with these areas of fluid signal and attenuation here and a little bit of ossification. And this may be part of an osperineum, a normal ossification, but this one is larger than we expect, more irregular. Usually an osperineum is nice and well defined. And so this is again a partial tear um, of the perineus longus tendon. We can see this on another view. This is a view you can see the first to fifth metatarsals here. And remember, this is going to attach here or insert on the base of the first. So this is it. It's going to come sideways here. It looks irregular, abnormal signal, ill-defined margins. And then in this region, there's fluid between the longitudinal fibers. So this partial tear of the perineus longus tendon. And it wraps around here, and then it comes up here on the lateral side. One last view here. Now we kind of switch sides. This is the fibula. Now here is the lateral side. And we're going to follow this down. We see abnormal signal here. This is actually the perineus brevis tendon. has a partial tear here we see on this view. Instead of being nice and round, it's, it's uh, looks like an upside down V. So this is a partial longitudinal tear of the perineus brevis tendon. And it shows up better on this view. Here's the perineus longus tendon here coming down. We know it's going to be torn. And look at it right there. You can get normal signal here called a fibrocartilaginous node. So sometimes you have a little bit of fogginess or brightness here, which can be normal. And you can have some calcification there or an osperineum, which is normal. But this is abnormal with that weird white fluid. This is a little ossification. And then we're going to try to follow this across. And if we lose it here, it's just hard to see. But it's going to come sideways here. It's going to attach right there at the base. So that is the course of the perineus longus tendon. It's partially torn. And so is the perineus brevis tendon. Thank you very much.